Hello there. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Julie. This is my journal. And I just did my interview for a uh, art teaching. As, you're not technically a teacher. You're an art whatever. I don't even know what the word would be. I guess teacher would be the word. But anyway, <clears throat> I just finished my interview. First interview for a job that I've had in almost 20 years. Yeah, almost 20 years. Oh my God. It was, I was so nervous. Shout out to Olivia who did my face for me. Um, well, not all of it, but a lot of it. And she's a wonderful artist. <laughs> um, whew. I was so nervous. Oh my God. But I did it. It went well. It was with a, the principal and, um, and a, like a facilitator and we did it. I did it. <laughs> and like I told them, even if like after the interview was over, I was, you know, kind of joking with them and like, even if I don't get the job, which would suck, but what out, you know, <laughs> um, even, even so, even if that were the case, I did an interview. I did a job interview. <laughs> 42 years old and <clears throat> haven't done a job interview in almost 20 years. <sighs> ah, but considering that I started having jobs at like 12 years old, I guess it's okay. <laughs> Took a hiatus to be a mom and wife. Oh, and YouTuber. I did an interview and it was wonderful. I mean, it wasn't perfect. There were some questions I definitely wasn't prepared for and I did the best I could. Uh, hoping that my energy alone would be enough, you know? <sighs> now, if I don't get this position, will I apply for something else? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I will. Um, because my main thing was, if I'm going to do something outside of the home, um, it needs to be something I would enjoy, you know, where I would have a good time doing it. Because the main purpose, and I understand it's a very fortunate situation, um, the main purpose of me getting a job is mostly for my mental and emotional and physical well-being, to get out of the house, to have a reason to get dressed and put my face on, and to socialize. And really, that's the big one right there, is to socialize. That's the main thing. And if if this doesn't work out, which if it doesn't, that's okay. That is absolutely okay. Uh, I'm not going to be heartbroken. It will be okay. All right. I'll uh, still hold my sparkling head high and we'll be all right. Uh, would it be a lot of fun? I think so. I think it would be. And I think I would be good at it. Um, I think we would have a lot of fun and it would be a great experience. But if it doesn't happen, <clears throat> um, I, I mean, there are many other things that I can do to socialize in person socializing. Um, there are a million classes and activities and groups and whatever offered at the library, uh, which is all, you know, right up my alley. That's a thing that I, you know, that's a happy place for me. And, and there's a million other things that, that I can <clears throat> get involved in that, you know, so, um, and I think that's the main thing is, <clears throat> excuse me, if I don't get offered this position, I need to not necessarily apply for another job. I don't need to do that, but I need to follow through with finding another avenue of, of socialization. And I love YouTube and I, I love, you know, being on here with you guys. And, and we just got our internet switched back to good internet. That's a long story. I'll tell you that later. Um, <clears throat> and so I, I do plan on doing live streams again. I'm really excited about that, but and as wonderful and as fun as that is, it's absolutely, you guys, I know you know this, it's not the same as socializing in person, you know, not just looking at my own face. <laughs> Though I love my face. I'm grateful for my face. Yay, mom and dad for making me this face. But it's nice to talk to other people, even if those people are, you know, kindergarten to fifth grade. <laughs> and other teachers and, and stuff here and there. And I know a lot of the teachers and, and it's a lot of the people at the school. So that, you know, it'd be nice. <clears throat> it would also included in uh, doing the art class presentation, whatever you want to call it. 
Uh, you also have planning time and then also um, help in like monitoring at recess. Recess is free time when the kids go out on the playground. And so um, the people that do these kinds of positions where you're not actually teachers, you are, I don't even know, let's go with technician because I don't remember what the... <clears throat> what the name is that they've given to the, but anyway, um, so then the actual teachers <clears throat> can have their planning time while you are, you know, taking care of the kids out in the playground. <clears throat> and I know a lot of you are wondering, Julie, you have a bachelor's degree that you worked very hard for. <laughs> Why don't you get something with that? I think I, I basically already explained that. If I'm going to go out into the workforce, I want to enjoy it. And not only that, I want it to fit within the, you know, the parameters of my family and their needs. My main number one job is being a mom then a wife, you know, and that's, it has to fit in there, you know, and then, you know, there's my own physical capabilities, what, you know, has to be something I'm able to do. <clears throat> and so, I don't know. The The positions that I could think of, of things that I could do with my degree, I mean, yeah, there are lots of opportunities, but am I interested in those opportunities? Would they bring joy would they fit within my family situation? Maybe. Or would they be super stressful and <clears throat> require way more than I'm willing to give? You know what I mean? Like, yes, with my degree, could I get into a position that would, you know, potentially pay well and, you know, things like that? Probably. But I would start like entry level, whatever I was doing entry level at almost 43, which I know a lot of people do, but do I want to? No, not really. Um, this job with the school, does it pay well? Nope. Nope. Uh, not when you consider that I do have a degree. Um, but that's not, I mean, the money, yeah, of course you want to have the, you know, you want to get paid and that'll help towards getting a new car and stuff like that. But that's not the main thing. Like I mentioned, <clears throat> um, the main thing is my mental and emotional well-being. Not that I expect the kids to provide that for me. That with the what I'm saying is the the point is to get out of the house and socialize. <clears throat> my kids aren't little kids anymore. They don't need me to be there all the time. And I don't need to be in the house all the time either. So if this doesn't pan out, then we'll be looking at other activities and socializing opportunities and <clears throat> things that we can get involved with. I would love to join a book club and start reading again. Um, I don't know what else. I, I've thought about some of the city-run um, art classes. I have taken some of those before, but it's been a long time. Um, what else? I don't know. I don't know. There, there's all kinds of, there's a million, there's a million different things I could get involved with. There actually, there's, um, some like mystical, magical groups and, and things that I didn't even realize there were things like that in my area, which is really exciting. And yeah, I, <laughs> I wouldn't mind being involved in some of those groups. Um, anyway, <clears throat> even if it's Bunko Night, I don't even know what Bunko is. I know it's a game, and I know uh, I've had friends that, that played that and got into, like, Bunko circuits and stuff like that with all the housewives. Sure. Why not? But I'm going to do something. That is my promise to you guys right now. So if I don't get this position, okay, then what are we going to do? You know? And we're going to do something. We're going to... I don't know. And in fact, because I won't find out till probably Friday and today's Monday. So I'll have, you know, all this this week <clears throat> um, to kind of suss it out 
and figure out, you know, options, different options, different things that, you know, come up with a list. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, this week. And that's a very positive, proactive kind of thing to do. Let's write a list of the stuff that we could do that we could get involved with, along with also doing more live streams, just doing live streams again, God, um, on the main channel, the frugal family and here, because I want to, I want to do that. That'll be a lot of fun and it'll get me out of the house, which is important. Yeah. I mean, obviously <clears throat> this spring and stuff like that, I'll be in the yard, I'll be gardening, you know, whatever. Hey, that's a thought. I could join like a gardening group or take one of the like extension classes where they teach you about the local flora and fauna and, you know, best plants for the area and water usage and whatever. That's not a bad idea. I'm going to add that to the list. That's a really good idea. But anyway, even if I'm outside and gardening, that's not socializing. And I think that's something huge that we learned globally during the pandemic was that we need to socialize. Yeah, we need to. It's good for us. Yeah. So, whew, I did an interview. I did a job interview. Oh my God, I did a job interview. I did. <sighs> we did it. We got it done. And now I'm going to go make dinner. I've been doing so well at this. I am so proud of myself. I've been making dinner. Uh, what I committed to is Monday through Friday. But Friday actually is mostly leftovers because making a dinner, like a planned kind of big dinner that we eat at the table every night kind of adds up. And by Friday, <clears throat> we do tend to have leftovers. So last week, that was what we did Friday was leftovers. And then over the weekend, um, it was like dinner with family, like James and a couple of the kids went with family. And then I was busy with Olivia. And so we did our own things. And then what did we do yesterday? Oh, yesterday was potatoes. So I guess Sunday's our dinner too. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> So, uh, I'm committed to, I should be committed. No, I'm just kidding. Um, committed to Monday through Friday, but maybe it should be, I'm committed to Monday through Thursday and Sunday. I think that makes more sense. And that way Friday can be leftovers and then either Saturday or Sunday eating with family or friends and whichever one is not with family or friends, then I would make dinner that day. What a great idea. You guys are such a great sounding board, even though I can't see you or hear you. <laughs> but I have. I've been making dinner, and I'm really proud of that, and it's been good for all of us. Yeah. So, going to go get that done. I've been Julie. This has been my journal. You guys have been wonderful. I did a job interview. <sighs> anyway, have a great day. I'll see you all real soon.